created by Albert Kim based on an American animated fantasy action television series of the same name created by Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko and produced by Nickelodeon Animation Studio the live action adaptation of Avatar the Last Airbender is finally released on Netflix as the action adventure is finally released we thought this would be the perfect time to discuss the differences between the OG animated series and the Netflix live action adaptation in detail so that you can have the best viewing experience a spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the show so if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it on Netflix but if you are done watching it already kindly follow us through this video and yeah while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on So how much has the series changed from the original? In short, the answer is a lot. After all, the Netflix version so far consists of only 8 episodes compared to the first season of the animated series which had 20 episodes. There are too many differences to list, but let's break down some of Netflix's biggest deviations from the source material. One of the best aspects of the animated series is the way it puts the viewer right in the middle of the action. filling in much of the back story through flashbacks as the story progresses when we first meet ang in that version he is still trapped on the iceberg that sokka and katara saved him from netflix on the other hand chronicles the events that led to ang's centuries long slumber how he became trapped in the ice and his subsequent rise thanks to sokka and katara the live action adaptation takes many liberties by introducing past avatars from whom ang seeks help and guidance Avatar Kyoshi perhaps the most popular previous avatar among fans takes on a larger role in the story when she possesses Aang's body and helps him defeat the Fire Nation soldiers invading Kyoshi's island in the original series Kyoshi does not take control of Aang's body instead it is the previous avatar Firebender Roku in another scene doing it While Netflix's Ang has a spiritual conversation with Roku, he also later has an in-depth conversation in the spirit world with the former Waterbender avatar Kuro. In the animated version, this conversation only takes place well into the series. The biggest change Netflix has made so far is to Mashu, the Earth Kingdom city that is home to all the storylines Netflix can fit into the series. The live action adaptation combines the storylines of the handsome anarchist Jed, the treacherous mechanic who inspires Sokka's inventive skills and the secret tunnels beneath Umashu, blending characters, location and events that originally take place in different locations. In the animated series, Team Avatar encounters Jed near a Fire Nation camp and does not encounter the engineer until they reach the Northern Air Temple near the end of the season. As for the tunnels we don't see them until season 2 and instead of Sokka and Katara traveling through the power of sibling appreciation like they do in the Netflix series it's the animated Ang and Katara traveling through a cloud full of romance luckily the live action spectacle doesn't miss the cave dweller singing secret tunnel the character of Boomy himself undergoes some changes with Netflix making the king of Umashu a much more antagonistic figure In the original series Boomy puts Ang through a series of tests before at the end Ang realizes that the king before him is his old childhood friend and they part ways into happier company. In this new version Netflix softens the tone which applies to the entire series as shows that Boomy is deeply upset by Ang's absence during the war leaving it unclear whether the avatar and the king of Umashu's relationship ends well. Another big difference between the two avatars is the use of Ko the face stealing dark spirit who lives in the spirit world in the nickelodeon show ang briefly meets ko in season 1 when he asks ko to help him save the northern water tribe in this new story sokka and katara find themselves trapped in ko's empire as with umashu netflix uses this episode as an opportunity to comfortably jump into other major plot points while sokka and katara are busy sprawling on the ground like the hibai storyline the plan bounty hunter jun's all too brief moment and the pivotal moment where the blue spirit saves ang from commander zhao's prison all events that take place at different points in the original series of course the show had to leave many of the episodic fun and unnecessary side missions on the cutting room floor Die Hard Avatar fans might miss the cartoon's crazy herbalist whom Ang turns to for help when Sokka and Katara fall ill 
the warring earth tribes including team avatar as they cross a rift firefighting zhongzhong who plays a crucial role in xiao's story and bato a family friend of suka and katara who gives them information about the siblings missing father another notable omission is ang's training of water bending which is an odd choice considering the entire first season was supposed to focus on ang's desire to find a master of water bending so he could master the element Then there is the case of Ang and Katara whose blossoming teenage romance has been mostly left out of the live action series thus far. We don't see the aforementioned secret tunnel scene, the episode with the fortune teller predicting their future partners or any of those smaller season 1 moments where Ang pines for Katara. All of these moments may be insignificant but taken together they cement team avatar's growing friendship which requires a solid foundation as the group grows and evolves on their journey to save the world. It remains to be seen how these and the countless other changes to the Netflix series will affect the future journey of our motley crew of young warriors. It goes without saying that Avatar the Last Airbender is one of the greatest animated series of all time. A second attempt at a live action adaptation would therefore never take place without high expectations and a keen eye for detail. But over the course of 8 episodes those criticisms while valid tend to fade away as the new Avatar gets going. Even though the series doesn't live up to the original in every way, it remains a worthy adaptation that gives the story a richer texture. Most importantly, it captures the spirit of the original while following its own path. Because as different as the two series may be, this one puts the flawed, complicated and lovable characters front and center, showing what makes them great while adding new layers of depth. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching the Netflix adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we're signing off. Farewell if you want to be a bender you have to let go of fear and I'll be back.